hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jay and if you are new make sure you hit that red rectangle which is down below right here followed by the post notification bell so it notifies you when I drop a video and if you are a returning subscriber hey welcome back thank you for joining me today so in today's video what I'm going to be doing which is very 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 sad like I feel like racism is never going to be over I feel like when I feel like it's over and it's been thrown away under the ground it's not over racism will always 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 be there I don't know why it should be done and said with like it should be dead by now but no people keep just bringing bringing up racism in any type of way shape or form so basically what I'm going to be talking about is as you guys see by the title Gucci Gucci's blackface sweater that they did when I heard everybody talking about it on Instagram, I'm like, what can they possibly do now? Like, what what did they exactly do? So I didn't see it until, I believe, Thursday or Friday. When I saw it, it shocked me. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So basically, the sweater is like, it's basically a turtleneck. And I'm looking down because I'm looking at my phone. It's right here. It's basically a turtleneck oh I thought it covered your ears but I guess not um it's a turtleneck that goes up to here so I'm assuming it's gonna cover your nose cover a bit of your ears and then there's like a lip thingy right here that there's a hole like with your lip thingy on it and a red untouched on it and I'm like really And the sweater was for $890. I mean, I was never a fan of Gucci. And I don't think I would ever go there. I still stand by my word. Like, I will never shop there. <sighs> wow. But anyways, let me show you the sweater. Doesn't this look like blackface to you? So I'm going to put a picture and that's like the back of it, like how it's supposed to look. You can't really see it because I tried going on the website and obviously they pulled it down so I can't see it. I'm going to put a picture right now. So one's going to go right here and one's going to go right here. So this one's going to be of the Gucci blackface sweater and how blackface looks like. Y'all tell me right now if... It's representing blackface, y'all tell me. I'm gonna give you a minute. Okay, okay. So the sweater is called, I don't know if I'm saying this right, I could be saying it wrong. Bala, Bala, si la, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me, let me try to figure out what this word is saying. Bala, salva, salva, kids top black here maybe they named it unique because it's a black I don't know I don't know why they named it like that so basically I heard more about it from what's his name your favorite celebrity he's not my favorite no more I'm sorry I'm sorry soldier boy He's the one that brought it up. He's probably the one that saw it first. I don't know, but he's the one who I saw it first. He was like, Cooch, Gucci, Gucci, hear me? Sorry. Gucci is canceled. So basically, yeah, they made that sweater and they apologized for it. This basically reminds me of the H&M scandal that happened where the boy was like, the boy was wearing the sweater that said coolest monkey in the jungle, which was 79. I think this is Euro. So this is all back to that. Like companies, I don't know who designs these, if it goes to the press. I don't know what the exact word is. Y'all can call me out on this. Like I know I'm saying the word wrong. Like whoever designs and then it goes up to the higher upper person. I don't I don't know why they're let, they're allowing this to go through. Like didn't they think about it? There we go. So this is the apology that Gucci sent out. An apology is not acceptable. Ugh, I can't even talk. An apology is not acceptable because 
y'all are still gonna do any types of form shape or anything towards us black people like that's racism i don't know it just doesn't cut it so what do you when you got to apologize what's gonna happen now it's like the same thing that happened with the H&M scandal. Everybody's saying now they want to boycott. Boycott. Do it. Fine. But what's going to happen after that? Because when the H&M scandal happened, y'all boycotted it for like H&M for like two to three months or even more. Probably up to like the max five months. And then what? Y'all went back into the store and bought their shit, right? I never, I never went to go buy their shit when they were boycotting. Even before that. I didn't boycott it because of that situation. I just stopped buying H&M clothes. I think the year I stopped buying H&M clothes was like 2000 and you could say 13. 2013. Why? Because their employees, some of them are rude. Uh, their stuff just, just didn't look appealing to me no more. I was done with it. I started, we need to start supporting black people. I started, like they said, everybody's saying online that we need to support our own, our own kind. I do, but I don't support it to the fullest. And I'm going to agree, um, I'm going to agree with that, that I don't support it to the fullest and I need to start supporting it to the fullest. I can say the first item I bought with my own coin to support a black business was the Ivy product london ivy i think it was called london oh, let me go search yeah london ivy head wrap so when i bought i'm gonna put the link down below right now when i bought this one hold on not that one remember when i bought this for 30 dollars that was like my first first supporting with my own coin because the rest of like black owned business whatever my mom would buy that but this was what I bought with my own coin and then the second thing that I bought was Fenty Beauty I still need to get a replacement for that because remember when I shattered when I went to Blue Mountain but yeah those are the only two I need to start supporting my people more okay so I am going to read what Gucci said on Twitter and then I'm going to reference this where you guys can find this link Gucci deeply apologizes for the offensive caused by the wool. I don't know that word. I'm going to spell it for you. B A L A C L A V A Bala Kavla. I know I'm saying it wrong. Oh well. Jumper. So they call it a wool jumper. How is it a jumper? It's like a turtleneck. I don't know what they were doing. Are they like I said, trying to cover the nose and the ears? Like seriously. Gucci makes some weird ass shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We. I'm going to continue reading. We can confirm that the item has been immediately removed from our online store and all physical stores. We consider diversity to be fundamental value to be fully upheld, respected, and at the forefront of every decision we make. We are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for Gucci team and beyond. Really? Okay, and here we go. People, are, of course, people are going to say it's not blackface. Let me put the picture down below here again and, and ask you, guys, doesn't this represent blackface? Let me read what Julie K. Let me not even shout her out because she's going to get clout from this. Sorry, y'all. I'm feeling kind of sick. That's why... Y'all hear me out, a raspy thing. She says it's not, it's a tacky look, but it's not blackface. What's next? Ski masks are against, sorry, ski masks aren't okay or wait, they all only, they are only okay in certain colors. What is this bitch talking about? And then somebody else says, I'm not going to say his name, he said too many black, too many black, sorry. Too many brothers and sisters, please stop going back and forth with these white folks. Their opinion are never with us and not <laughs> our concern anymore. Just stop wearing the shit and ignore the people in denial. Ignore the people in denial that are that simple. And then somebody else said, people with mega in their bios are unequipped to, de to determine what is and what is not blackface. By all means, explain how it's not blackface. Okay, thank you. 
Another person, people who are not black aren't equipped to tell black people what is and isn't racist, point blank. And then somebody, I want to read one more. He disagree. That's like suggesting that if I don't have diabetes, I can't identify the symptoms of the disease. Or if I'm not rich, I can't identify what's, I can't identify, yeah, what it means to have wealth. Or if I own a Ferrari, I can tell you what tires go on. Okay, anyways, so y'all comment down below if that is blackface or not blackface, like... I don't, I don't know. Let me go on to continue. I wrote more in my notes. I already talked about the first part. I already talked about the first part. So I said, as you can see, they always make a sweater reference towards black people. Why don't you make something nice and appealing, but not so racist? Have like a nice catchphrase like, I love all my people. I love myself. Be you love is for everyone we are strong powerful and amazing people and so on y'all comment down below what you think they could have made something different derogatory towards towards black people like i don't know if i'm using that content properly but i really don't know i really don't know what they could have done because gucci they make some weird shit with the snakes and all that to me, that looks like voodoo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gucci. <laughs> I don't know. Gucci, y'all. Y'all just fucked up. Y'all really just fucked up. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I had another point. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, what is blackface? Let me explain to you in the dictionary. I don't know what's there. Y'all y'all seen it was there, right? But I gotta say, what's the definition? Oh, anyways, it says blackface. Blackface means... The makeup used by non-black performer playing a black role. He appeared in blackface. A sheep of bread with blackface. And then the Urban Dictionary says what blackface means. I gotta go into Urban Dictionary. I'm sorry, y'all. It says when white actors would paint their face black to resemble black people. According, accompanied by a performer... Sorry, accompanied by a performance stereotyping them as buffoons. So, they're stereotyping us as we're buffoons. That is not nice. That is not nice. The white actor dominated blackface for his menstrual show. And number two, what, the, what it means, it says, a white man who... Gets make to, who gets makeup done to look like a black man for a movie. And then it says Robert Downey Jr. was a black face in the movie Tropic Thunder. Oh my god. I never saw that movie. That is sad. That is so sad. And then let me go to Wikipedia. So this is a, like another... So it says black face is a form of... Theater makeup use predominantly by non black performers to represent a caricature cari cari of black of a black person. The practice I know I I never read that word properly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cari cater cari catcher of a black person. The practice gained popularity during the 19th century and contributed to the spread of racial stereotypes such as the happy go lucky darky on the platinum plant pla plantation or the danfied coon. Y'all can read that for yourself. That's too much reading for me. But anyways, that's just so, so sad. I found a video on blackface menstrual show sand dance. So the person who posted this, I don't know how to pronounce your name. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put all the link in the description below and y'all see it. This is just, it said Ned, Ned Har, Harley does a song and sand Dance in blackface and a clip from Yes Sir, Mr. Bow from 1951. 
Ned was the grandson of J. Hartley, the owner of the largest ministerial troop in the ninth in the late nineteenth century. Harley United Mas Mastodon Minstrel. And that says you could read more. So the lyrics. If y'all hear the lyrics to this song, you're just gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Sorry, like that was a little shaky. Here's the song lyrics. I want you to know that I am right, but right hopping like I'm living like you people. That's white. Hold down, hold down steak every day for my broad. That's more than all you rounders in is town afford. I am mighty good. I am a mighty good man to have uh, have hang around. I'm tailor made. I'm not a hand me down. I'm an eagle. I'm a mason. I'm an elk. I'm a knight. I'm ragged but right. You hear me talking. I'm ragged but right. Gentlemen, Mr. Ned Haverly. I want you to know that I'm ragged but right. This is how we look. Over like you're living like you people ask why. Hold out, stay there, but deep in my bones. That's more than all you rounders in this town can afford. I'm a mighty good man to have hanging around. I'm Caleb Mead, I'm not a handy down. I'm an eagle, I'm a mason, I'm an elk, I'm a knight. I'm ready for right you. Alright, that's all I had to show you. I am also a person that doesn't really shop at black owned businesses frequently i'm saying frequently because i do us black people we need to start promoting our what's it called our products more so i'm always on instagram so start promoting do sponsors get somebody to promote it start promoting yourself i really want to support my my people so right now i'm telling y'all this is your opportunity right now to start promoting so start promoting comment down below in, in this video any black owned businesses you know or if you're a black owned business person an entrepreneur as you say call me down below what your what you sell your products give me your website so I can look at it right now or you can hit me up in the DM on Instagram I'm gonna put my Instagram right now right here X O underscore K A M I L E E X O underscore and hit me up there in the DMs and start telling me what your product is like I also like how Toronto now this has been he here for years but I went I just went with it for the first time last year I'm gonna put the link down below I'm gonna probably put a suggestion right here about um, when I went to the yep, Toronto's black owned holiday market it has People from all over Toronto, or I should say Canada, but mostly Toronto, of their own businesses. I need to start buying from there, like I did. No, I actually, when I went there, I got their cards because I need to keep in contact because something's coming up for us. But yeah, you'll see. Y'all comment down below what you guys think of uh, Gucci scandal, of what they did. Like each each and every company is coming out now. Like that's just sad of what Gucci did. Gucci, I'm sorry. You're canceled, like Soldier Boy said. I don't think I'll ever support you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all just made it worse by making a blackface sweater. Nah, 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 nah. I never supported you, but now you just made it worse. But yeah, y'all comment down below. Tell me what you think, what you what you think, what you like, what you didn't like. I'm gonna take the positive and the um, negatives. I'm gonna take criticism, basically. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, comment down below anything make sure you guys like comment subscribe do all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next video bye